Hey there, Cancers. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot. All right, so we're going to be doing your general reading. Please keep in mind that this is going to be for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Also, the roles can be reverse cross watchers, so keep that in mind when watching as well. All right, so let's see. We're going to be doing a love reading and checking the energy around someone that you were dealing with in love. Let's see what's going on there. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Whoever you're dealing with, I feel like you're dealing with someone... Mm, yeah, passive aggressive person is coming through. Um, what I was about to say though, I was going to say that I feel like you guys are dealing with someone that has some sort of mental issue um, or someone that's very toxic. And I feel like you guys are aware of something that happened to this person. Like I feel like there's some sort of pain or some sort of trauma that this person is dealing with that you're aware of. Because the card that came out around your energy cancers was who hurt you because it wasn't me. So I feel like you guys uh, know that your person was dealing with some sort of pain dealing with some sort of trauma and I feel like you may feel as though they took that out on you it was like I didn't hurt you but here you are hurting me um, I'm also getting here that some of you are even questioning the connection you're wondering um, if this was even your real person or if this was just a spiritual lesson was this person just taught I mean was this person just brought into your life to teach you something this connection was very challenging and very toxic for you your worst nightmare I feel like this is someone that would gaslight you especially seeing this passive aggressive energy come through some of you may have been dealing with someone that was um you know acting one way but saying something else I feel like if there was an issue they would be sarcastic about the issue but wouldn't really address the actual issue uh, I'm also you know earlier when I was preparing I saw the under energy of this devil card and the queen of swords and this queen of swords don't play right and that's what I feel like is going on with you guys cancer you're in this position right now to where you're emotionally detached and you're, you're clear with thinking. It's like you know what you know, meaning that you know you will not deal with no, no, with no toxic situation. You're breaking free from this toxic relationship. It's like, no, I've had enough. I'm not dealing with this toxicity. Especially knowing that you know that this person is struggling with some sort of trauma that they have been taking out on you, taking out on others. You're like, I don't have time for this gaslighting. I don't have time for this passive energy. Because for some of you, you could be dealing with someone that's not putting in any effort, not putting in any work. And the Queen of Swords knows her worth. And when I say her, it's just energy, okay? So if you're a male watching, just take it as the energy. You know your worth. That's what I'm ultimately trying to say. But this person became your worst nightmare. And I feel like because of their traumas, because of their pain, I feel like that kind of seeped over into you. You may have been, uh, you know, struggling from PTSD, maybe just like, you know, having a hard time letting go. Some of you could be trauma bonding to this person as well. But you're standing in your power to where you're like, enough is enough. I'm not playing these games. Yep. Walking. Oh, wow. Cancer. Yep. Yeah, this is you. This is like, nope, you can keep that passive aggressive stuff. I, I'm no, I'm too smart. I'm too cute. I'm too intelligent. I don't have time for that. Or I'm too handsome. Right. <laughs> you're like, I don't have time for that. I'm walking away from this crap. That's where you guys are at right now. Yep. I'm standing in my power. I'm standing in my authentic power. Um, with that divine feminine energy coming through. The divine feminine knows his or her worth, right? Um, what else is going on here that I'm feeling? Yeah, you're not trying to convince. I feel like you guys lack of emotional intelligence. You were dealing with someone that was emotionally immature. That's what I'm saying. This person wasn't even on your level. You, that's what I'm saying. With the Queen of Swords, you're very intelligent. And I feel like, you know, there was only so much cancers that you were going to put up with from this person, but they were not on your level. Some of you could have been dealing with the Sagittarius, um, but I'm also getting here too that you were like, I don't, 
I, I'm not going to keep trying to convince you of my worth, okay? Because this card did come out saying you don't have to agree with me and I'm not trying to convince you. I'm done. <laughs> That's what I feel like I'm getting through with this energy. Like, I'm not going to, you don't have to convince me you don't want me. You've already shown me your colors, your true colors. And what's that saying by Maya Angelou? When people show you who they are, believe them. I feel like that's where you're at right now. It's like you showed me how you felt about me by your lack of actions, by your toxic behavior. You don't have to tell me anymore. I already see you as someone that's emotionally intelligent, that's emo that lacks the emotional intelligence to meet me where I am. Yeah, you're, you're, you're this person, guys, and we're going to move into their energy in a second. But this person, you know this, too. That's so that's why it's so funny, because it's like, you know, this person regrets how they did you because, you know, your worth and, you know, this person is not going to find anyone like you. Like, I feel like this person is the, the energy that I'm getting here behind this person. Let me pull this back. I feel like this person is getting their karma because you didn't. I. I I just don't feel like you deserved what you got, the treatment that you got from this person. It wasn't deserving. I, I, I'm not trying to say that you guys are perfect because no one is perfect, right? I just feel like how they did you was undeserving. I mean, it was, was not fair. It wasn't right, okay? That's what I feel like. And you know that this person is going to regret it, and you're at this point to where you're over it. You're done. That's, how you, that's the energy that's coming through for you guys right now. And this person is regretting, regretting how they did you. Yeah, karmic contacts, karmic contacts, empty. This person was choosing this karmic contract. Did I say contacts? <laughs> I meant contracts if I did say it. But they had a karmic contract. And I feel like these choices, because here's the door. So I feel like this person went through a door that left them empty on the inside. And it was a karmic contract that they had with someone else but I feel like I told you that's that karma that's coming in as well because they are it's like you're moving on with your life and this person is feeling empty inside they are feeling regret for how they did you because they feel that you are done no love give yep see you have no love given or received and here's a karmic mail coming through so I feel like I feel like whoever they're dealing with, because this is like the other third person, meaning that whoever their person is dealing with, I feel like whoever this person is that you're dealing with that was in this um, karmic connection and they walked away for you to be in this karmic connection, that person cheated on them. Here, that's that karmic male. That person ended up cheating on them. And that's why this person is really starting to revisit um, you know, the connection with you because they feel like they gave up this opportunity to be with someone like you to be with someone that was less than you. Yeah, here comes the King of Cups. There was love here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a fellow Cancer or this could be a Scorpio or a Pisces, but this is someone that was loving you, but look at here, fighting it. They were trying to fight their love for you, keeping it under wraps. Like, I don't, I don't want to show you um, that I love you. I don't deal with my emotions good. That's an emotional intelligence. This person is saying, I don't deal with my emotions good. You know, I fight my emotions. I fight my feelings. Yeah, here comes a judgment. I feel like this person has made a judgment. I'm also seeing here an awakening too. I mean, for some of you, I feel like it's going to be too late because the energy that I'm giving here with you guys, Cancer, is that you're done. You're blocking this person, but they've made a judgment to reach out to you. And I'm going to tell you, this person, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, but the energy behind this person now is someone that's wiser. I feel like the distance between you is what has made this person wiser now. It's like they have learned their lesson. And they feel how empty, because remember we saw empty inside? Well, they also feel like how empty they are without you in their life. But they also feel like you're not giving them any love. And that you won't receive them. But they have made a judgment to reach out to you. Yeah, and it's, it's causing stress. See this nine of swords coming through? This stress and this agony has to do with giving you this offer after having done you so wrong. See, now they want to come back. And you knew this. You, I feel like you probably even told this person, you're going to regret how you did me. And sure enough, they are. They're suffering from it. They feel they're conscious. Their conscious is eating them up because now they want to come back. 
Now they want to say, I love you. Now they want to tell you how much they care about you. Remember, I just showed you with the King of Cups and the Seven of Wands, they were fighting their emotions because they lack the emotional intelligence. You have been there and done that with the Queen of Swords, but you also had no time for the foolishness. You had no time for the lies and the toxicity. They're turning their back on this third party situation. Whoever this third party is, yeah, whoever the third party is, they gave their power away to that third party, but I feel like they are now turning their back on it. That's what, why we got here. The judgment card to start off this reading is a major arcana. So this is all about a decision that has been made, a judgment that has been made. It's also a card about an awakening too. So awakening to this connection, awakening to their real feelings for you, no longer trying to hide it, regretting that they hit it in the first place. This is someone that's having difficulty sleeping too, and they suffer from insomnia. I also get here nightmares because I think we talked about worst nightmare. I feel like this person get dreams about you. Something is constantly, they're constantly being reminded of you as well. T you turning down this person offer would feel like a nightmare to them. This person is hoping you would receive them. It's like they want to tell you about this change that they've undergone. Yeah, see, self-love. I feel like, yeah, this person has, first off, this person has made a decision to love themselves because I feel like you were dealing with someone that dealt with some sort of trauma and seeing this emotional, this lack of emotional intelligence, they didn't love themselves. So how could they possibly love anyone else, right? I feel as though there has been a judgment that has been made about some sort of uh, living arrangement. This could be someone that they were living with. They could have been married to this person with this four of wands, but I feel like they made a judgment about that situation. Yeah, they made a judgment to walk away from it. I feel like they gave as much as they could to that connection, but they're walking away from it. They, they or, And or they're feeling very disappointed in that situation. And they are deciding, I love myself enough now to walk away. That judgment signifies renewal, awakening to self-love but also awakening to the connection with you. Yeah, they're struggling. This person struggles when it comes to opening up. They have a hard time doing it. That's why this person lacks so much emotional intelligence because they've never really been in love before. And that's what I'm saying. They never even love themselves. So how could they give love to anybody else? For some reason, and I feel like it has to do with this trauma that you guys know about. For, this is why they have a hard time opening up to love. It's like the hardest thing for this person to do. They are also overwhelmed by the feelings that they have for you, Cancer. That's something that's foreign to this person, which is why they're suffering too. Because they never felt true, authentic love. And now they're grips with the fear of actually losing something that they now want so bad. And that's why I said the thought of losing you and not being able to work things out stresses this person out. It's causing a lot of anxiety and worry. Yeah, they feel like they're missing their blessing with you. They, this person views you as a blessing. But for some reason, I feel like you guys are like just feeling restricted in the sense of like you're not able to break free from the, how this person treated you. I feel like some of you cancers have been struggling with your faith in this connection. I feel like some of you may have even been questioning spirit about this connection, right? Yeah. Okay. So here's an ending Scorpio could, uh, someone could be ending something with a Scorpio. I'm seeing Libra come through, but I'm also seeing court. Someone could be going to court after turning their back on someone to end it. So maybe someone could be going to court for a divorce. Uh, maybe some assets that need to be divide, divided. But I'm seeing here um, an ending that's going to end up in court for some of these people. I feel like this person tried to do the right thing in that situation. Despite how they may have treated you, I feel like they felt some sort of obligation. And that obligation could have been because they were married. It could have been because they had kids. Maybe they were financially responsible for this person. But I feel like they are trying to or was trying to do right 
operate with integrity, take responsibility for the person that they are now turning their back on and ending it. Because I feel like with that eight of cups that we saw earlier, that was someone that gave their all. Okay. I feel like that person, I feel like the person that you're watching about, I feel like they didn't want to let that relationship go, not because they were in love with that person, but because they felt comfortable with that person. That person did not challenge their toxicity. That person did not, you know, uh, that person enabled the toxicity, whereas you were not having it. So they felt comfortable in being less than. They felt comfortable in that pain, in their pain. And that relationship, like I said, it enabled it. So, <clears throat> I feel like the only reason why they had to end it and turn their back on it was because of the deception, the cheating that was going on. It's like I had no choice. But I also get here too that this person, like I said, they were trying their damnedest to um, make things work out and to be at least be fair. But yeah, see, somebody was playing games. Yeah, somebody was being manipulative. Yep, they tried. They tried to do right by that person for whatever reason. I'm not going to get into that right now, but yep, yeah, see, it's over with. Yeah, somebody was playing dirty. I'm seeing getting revenge. So that was a really toxic situation because remember, they're used to toxicity. They felt comfortable in that toxic connection, but I feel like their hand was forced because it was happening too much. Too many game playing was going on. Too many swords. You got 10 swords in this person back. See, that's what I'm saying. Like that person had betrayed them so many times and then the last time was the final time. It's like, I have to, um, I have to end this. I have to end it. I feel like they had tried to wait to end it, but it was too much going on, too many issues. And so it's like, I got to let it go. There's something here that's coming through that's being hidden. And this is coming through for you. I feel like the unknown, I feel like there's something that you don't know or something that you're thinking that you don't know, that you can't let go of. I feel like you can't let go of the unknown. Here, look at that. See, look at that guys. Look at that. See, yeah. See, look at here. You can't like, this is what, look at that. The queen of stars and the devil. Yeah. I feel like you guys, I feel like there's fear. It's like you, you, you're, you're a prisoner to the fear of this person still being this devil because you're not, you're not dealing with it anymore. That's why I'm glad I showed you guys this because I'm not even using this deck, but it caught my attention because I felt this was your energy for the most part. I'm not dealing with any toxic mess. And this is why I feel like because you don't know, like you don't, you don't know if this person is still this double. And I feel like it's like, I don't want to take any chances to find out if I'm still dealing with this toxic person. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, um, th this coming to a close though. Yeah. The King of Pentacles is on the up and up. So if you're wondering if this person is still toxic, or if they still have these addictions or mental illness, I feel like that energy, that cycle of you feeling that way is coming to a close. Obviously we saw that you were not having it, but I do feel like this person has been doing a lot of work with this King of Pentacles. There's a lot of determination to be this loyal, honest, trustworthy person. They have been devoted to um, their personal growth is what I'm getting here with this person. And it was pain, the pain from this third party relationship and also the pain from the connection with you that forced this person to um, feel like they have to change. They have to do something to change their ways. We're gonna stop right there, guys. And we're gonna pick up the remainder of this over in the extended. I'm gonna pull a similar spread for your person that you're watching up to see what's going on with them and that karmic situation and see where things are gonna go with um, the two of you and how they're feeling about you more in depth. So if you want more insight, cancers, come on over to the extended. The link is in the description box. Catch you guys over there. Bye.